You know, we had difficult times in the region, in the country, in the last few weeks, and we are happy to see the solidarity of our friends coming to visit us and coming to say hello and coming to give support. Thank you for being here. Thank you once again. So they are smart. The, organiz the organizers are smart. Asking the Minister of Industry to talk about air quality is something a little vicious. That means, hey man, just come to talk and you're guilty. I am. I am and I want to, to say how far I am guilty. We hear a lot about the interaction between human activities and air pollution. And there is a direct link. But we read also that natural, if <coughs> natural catastrophe affects air quality. So I asked my best friend of the moment, is Chad GPD, how far is nature contributing to air pollution and how far is human contributing to air pollution? And he was very severe. He told me human contribute to 75% of air pollution. I said, okay. And then I asked a second question. How far am I guilty? How far is industry guilty? Let me check. Give me one second. Don't have the figures yet. Okay. So the figure is trans for human activities, transportation is guilty by 27% of air pollution. Say, okay, transportation is not industry. He says, yes, you're producing the cars and the trucks. Okay. Industry itself, as a direct contributor, is 20%. That's the part I have. Power plants, 18%. And then you're coming in the game. Residential heating and cooling, 18%. So you are as guilty as I am. Agriculture, food, 9%, and other sources, 16%. So, what air pollution has as impact on our health, we have eminent specialists coming from everywhere in the world that's going to make us a little bit smarter today. Thank you for being here once again, and I'm very proud and happy to see it among you and hear these eminent specialists coming from all over the world teaching us about how an industry minister, a smoker, and having asthma is guilty in damaging your health. Thank you. <laughs>